A mother arrested again for dealing drugs after her previous case made international headlines. It's a story the 8 News Now investigators first broke. Vanessa Murphy has more on the mom's latest legal trouble. A nine-year-old boy hands a police officer a bag of more than 100 grams of meth. Well, thank you. So, we were called to come check on your son. Two years after Henderson police arrested the child's mother, Kendra Long, here in July of 2022, she's accused of dealing meth again and violating probation for at least a second time. Her probation officer reports finding baggies with more than 27 grams of meth, pills most commonly known as Xanax and Valium, and equipment like a scale in her Las Vegas home. The officer writing long claimed her ex-boyfriend was a member of the cartel and sold meth, and it must have been from him. A similar excuse back in 2022. I have a boyfriend that has access to my front door. Right. I don't know this guy this well. However, this is, I, I, do I give you his name? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This is not mine. Long was convicted of child abuse and drug charges in connection with this 2022 arrest. Clark County District Court Judge Monica Trujillo suspended a prison sentence and placed Long on probation. Three months later, she was accused of violating probation. An officer reported finding bags of meth again along with cocaine. She was charged with three more felonies. Instead of prison, Trujillo sent Long to an inpatient drug treatment program. This is not a user. This is someone that's that's distributing and selling. Anthony Cruz is Long's ex-husband. In an interview with the 8 News Now investigators earlier this year, he explained how he was granted sole custody of their son after a hard fight. He also pointed to failures in the criminal justice system after Long was given chance after chance. Even with red-handed, caught red-handed type knowledge, uh, it still doesn't mean anything in the in the justice court there. Now another judge, Erica Mendoza, is scheduled to decide whether Long's probation should be revoked. The hearing on September 19th, while Long remains in jail facing new charges. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. We can also tell you an arraignment is scheduled the day before the probation revocation hearing for those new charges that Long faces.